A new holiday event just opened to the public last night at Zoo Atlanta. It is called Illuminites at the Zoo, a Chinese Lantern Festival, and fills the Grant Park attraction with more than 80 silk lanterns that light up the night. So magical. Good Day Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at the zoo this morning, and you were able to get a preview the other night. Hi, Paul. Yes. Yeah, good morning to you. You know, I feel like such an underachiever. I mean, I thought that one strand of lights I put up over my door was incredible. Like that was a real <laughs> accomplishment for me. And then I turn around and look what the zoo did this year. Yeah, they really decorated for the holidays. And this is such a unique way to celebrate the holidays too. There are lots of great light shows here in Metro Atlanta, but not many that look like this. Again, this is Illuminites, a Chinese lantern festival. And our good friend Jennifer Smith with us this morning. Good to see you. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Great to see you. Yeah, I'm better now that I'm standing next to this incredible dragon. I mean, this really is so beautiful and so unique. So first of all, for folks that are just tuning in that don't know what this is, what is Illuminites? So Illuminites is a nighttime journey through the zoo, which mm -hmm. is something different than we have done before. Yeah. So this is our inaugural offering to some of uh, Atlanta's holiday uh, yeah. light, light festivals. Uh, so we have about uh, 80 lanterns that we have strewn throughout the zoo. Uh, we have lots of different animals, mm -hmm. lots of different flora, fauna, just kind of a, a journey through the natural world in a different way. Yeah, it really does turn it into like this dreamland at night. It's incredible. So where do the lanterns come from? So we partnered with a company called Called, called Han Art Culture. Uh, they are a Chinese company who actually hand makes all of these lanterns. They are all steel frame, covered in silk, and mm. then hand painted and airbrushed and brought to us uh, from there. Yeah, and then what's lighting them on the inside? They are LED lights. So okay. in in uh, alignment with our conservation message, they're all uh, they're all LEDs. Yeah, and so as folks see some of the video that I shot the other night, and you see all the animals, something you mentioned when I saw you the other night is that what's great is that you were able to bring animals to the zoo that aren't already here at the zoo. Yeah, we have lots of different species that we don't normally have here. So you can come during the day. Yeah. You can see all of the animals out in their habitats and then come for an evening, which is a whole different experience. And you get to see animals that you don't get to see. During yeah, the day. like the camels. You don't normally have camels. So getting to see them or dragons. I don't think you have any dragons. We here. don't, in fact, have any dragons. <laughs> that was here. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about how people can get in. This is a separate ticketed event. So folks who are here during the day, they'll see the lanterns. But if you want to see them at night, it's a special ticket. Yeah, they are still beautiful during the day, yeah, but yeah, I certainly recommend coming at night. Uh, we do offer member discounts, so both our members and non-members can purchase tickets at zooatlanta.org mm -hmm. slash Illuminites. Yeah, and really quickly, I, I asked you when I first saw you this morning, what's it been like now for a couple of days watching people walk in and see these at night? It's it's so much fun. I mean, they're beautiful, first of all. So you yeah. get to see the eye openings and everybody kind of ooing and eyeing and, and uh, the kids love it. It's yeah. great. And it's, and it's actually fun. We've we've seen a lot of different uh, family groups. We've seen date nights. We've seen lots of different iterations yeah. of people coming through, which is yeah. really fun. It's kind of a fun for all ages group. So. For sure. Well, thank you so much for letting us be here. So excited to come back again at night and see them. Jennifer, great to see you. And Caitlin, I don't know if you know anybody that <laughs> might be in the market for a you know cute holiday photo of a of a little little small child, maybe a little boy named Gil. I don't know, like nestled into a dragon. Like, how cute would that? That's your holiday card, Listen, Caitlin Pratt. Thank you. you. Know, little I... Gil, like holding 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 a paw or whatever that is, a claw <laughs> of a dragon. Listen, <laughs> the, the options are endless. Thank you. I'm relying on yes. you for all my holiday plans for my little one from now on. That's what I'm here for. Yes, that's Paul. That's what I'm here for, my yes. friend. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, Paul. The festival looks so fun runs nightly at the zoo from now until January 16th hours 5 30 p.m. to 9 30 p.m. last entry to the zoo at 8 30 general admission starts at $20.99 for adults $17.99 for children and seniors.